Part two is looking at the new MATLAB console window. If we go to simulate menu, there's new solvers consoles here. We have option for MATLAB and Octave. We start with MATLAB. And the first thing you see, all it does really is starts up the MATLAB solver for you to use. And you end up with the command line entry box down here where you can type in simple JavaScript commands to test out functionality or to um, try out new things. It's, it's really a, a sandbox where you can test out new scripts for use in other parts of Enterprise Architect. So we'll use similar examples to the JavaScript we had before. And I'm going to cut and paste from pre-existing examples here. So here's JavaScript line, putting a string into a string variable. And then next we will set the string into the MATLAB workspace. And then we can demonstrate getting the string back from the MATLAB workspace. And we'll try deliberately making an error. And we see MATLAB comes back with the error undefined variable my string. You can press the up arrow to go back to previous commands fix the mistake. So the my string JavaScript variable now should contain the correct value. And we can output the value with the same session dot output. And the output comes up in line in here rather than in the system output. And we see the my string is what we expect it to be. Similarly, we can call the matlab.exec function in the same way we did before with the image processing example. You should be able to just directly call it. And we see the image pops up, one, two, and then the overlays again. And the result this time only showed the single result from the function call because we didn't assign it to variables. So from my point of view, this window is very handy if you're generating a new script and especially for a larger script and you are not sure about a small part of what sort of MATLAB call you need or what the results are going to look like. A simple way of just running the MATLAB commands, seeing what the outputs are going to be, whether they work, whether there's any errors or not. And especially if this was a larger part of a larger, say state machine or activity diagrams, with lots of components and you don't want to simulate the whole thing every time to try and fix the issue, then you can jump into the console, cut and paste a few commands, see the outputs, and then cut and paste them back into your simulation. And that's the end of part two, looking at the MATLAB console.